So in our last video, we made this video player that can play any movie based on the URL. Okay, and the Flash read the URL. So now we want to make some links that actually can use this player. So what I want to do is I have this features page for the software, and I want to associate certain parts, such as create, edit, and remove links, with an icon next to it. And when you click that icon, it pulls up this particular video. Okay, so I'm going to use jQuery to actually search through the document and find a keyword and replace all those with some with some code. So let me explain further by going into the code here. So right here is where I have that. That's a bold tag that uh, create, edit, remove links. That's a styled bold tag. So in the bold tag, we'll give every tag that we want to have this happen to a keyword, and we're going to give each one a class, and that's going to be the uh, I gotta call it Vicon, video icon. Okay, that's just my word for it. And then we're gonna give it a fake attribute that does not actually exist, but it's just gonna give us some values to read, which is actually the name of the video. And uh, the name of the video is actually spelled wrong, that's why it's create with no E, but I just happen to know that. So now this has the Vicon class, and I'm also sad saying that it has the attribute video that links to the video. So right now this doesn't do anything. There's no, this doesn't have styles attached to it, this doesn't do anything, it's fake, etc. Okay, but we'll save that and then we'll pull up our JavaScript file that we have all of our script in. So here, uh, actually let me go back to the beginning here. Every page calls a function press menu. Every single page. Okay, so in the JavaScript file, in press menu, I call a set of functions that I want always to happen. So let me find press menu here so I could show you. Do, 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 do. Press menu. Okay, so press menu, number one, it presses down the menu. Number two, it calls a couple functions. And one of the functions that I'm going to call is called do video icon. Now, what this means for being here is that this function will get called when the document's loaded on every single page. So what I'm basically setting up to do here is wherever that class is called Vicon, wherever that class is, it will turn it into an icon. Okay, jQuery will do that for me. Well, I'm going to write it. So let's go back to our function here and it's going to call, I'm going to just call it uh, do video icon. And when the document's ready, uh, this is what we're going to do. So first we need to get the movie. So var vid is going to be the name of it equals and then uh, we need to get that attribute. So using jQuery, we're going to get everything with the class Vicon, okay, which is the point that we were doing. So jQuery is now is going to search through there. And then we're going to get the attribute, so .attr for the attribute class. And then we want to get the attribute video that we set, okay? So that's going to return to us create links.mov so that we can use that. So the next thing we need to do here is actually create a blank image. So to create a blank image, you can use standard document.createElement, etc. But I actually found a better way with jQuery. So we're going to create a new variable called jImage, so jQuery image. So it's not an actual image element, it's a jQuery image element. And that's going to be equal to jQuery. And what you have to do is it actually evaluates a set of script here like that. So it will turn this into a jQuery image tag, okay? Basically this is the equivalent if you had used jQuery to reference an image object and then get it back in jQuery, this is the same thing. Except now we're creating it on the fly. So jImage is a jQuery object. So now we actually need to set the icon. So we'll do jImage dot attribute. So we're setting an attribute. We're going to set the source so it's an image, so it has a source, to uh, our images slash video icon sm.png. So that's the icon that I've already made for this particular project. So and that's actually going to set the source now. Next thing we need to do is actually style, just a little bit, we need to style the icon. So basically if we were to do this now, the icon will be flush up against the text, and we don't want that, we want some spacing. So we use jimage dot uh, CSS, so this is an, more jQuery shortcuts here, parentheses, bracket, since we're going to have multiple, we're going to do margin, actually it has to be in quotes here, quote, 
margin right quote colon five pixels comma so we're gonna do it in the next style and that's gonna be the cursor cursor colon and that's gonna be pointer so now it's gonna look like a button that you can actually click and then once that's done, you close your curly brace, close your parenthesis, and semicolon to end the statement. So now we've styled our image. Next thing we need to do is add a click listener to it. Now, for some reason, and maybe somebody out there knows, but I don't, I can't just use jimage.click. This doesn't work. I don't know why it does not work. But what does work is setting the onClick attribute. So image dot attribute on click. So you can do this. This is a normal thing I knew before, but I didn't think that jQuery wasn't going to work for this. So we're going to set the on click to actually change the location. So when you click, we want to go somewhere. In JavaScript, the way you do that is window dot location equals quote and then now the place, which is help slash index dot php question mark video. And if you watch the last one, you know what I'm doing here video equals and now we actually have to type in the name of the video vid okay plus and then end the quote and it's actually uh, three quotes so actually what we need to do here is you can't have double quote double quote so we're gonna come we're gonna uh, what do you call that we're gonna can't we'll make it so we can use that quote escape we're gonna escape the quote that's what it's called and then we need to escape this middle quote here so basically you have quote and quote inside okay so basically what we have here is window dot location equals this address and then vid as we saw earlier is the attribute video icon so if you would watched the last video you'd know that what's going on here is we're actually setting we're going to a page and sending values in the URL so that flash will then understand what video to play next thing we need to do is well let's actually set the image and see if that works so next thing we'll do is we'll get Vicon again okay get Vicon and then we want to append okay so add on that jQuery object that we just made dot append uh, j image okay so that will then append and we'll save that out and refresh this page and okay there you go so now I actually have a couple more style more so these elements also have that class but this is the one we were working on but this is not the desired effect because I want this icon to be on the left side so let's actually use prepend which puts it before not after refresh and now that's the effect we want so this and you can see there's that margin 5 and if I and you can see my cursor is now a hand pointer so now I can actually click that and that will then take me and you can see it's all working now to index.php question mark <clears throat> video equals create links.mov so now we've created our link and set that through and now we can actually play this video through